So guys, hello and welcome back to Inside Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at what's actually inside this cheap SMD soldering station, this variety micro soldering iron, which I have unboxed in my last episode. So that video just shows you the, my first impression about that. It was actually really bad. And I haven't yet turned this thing on because I just... Because if you have watched my previous video, you can actually see that there were some components that is actually found to be misplaced inside the box itself. There are some washers lying around inside the box. So I thought it would be a good idea to check what's inside before plugging this thing in and letting everything go kaboom. So let's uh, actually take this thing apart and let's see how cheap this thing is inside. So as you have as I have already shown this thing is actually every single screw on this thing is loose. You can actually turn uh, everything with just your fingernails. That's how loose everything is. Even the transformer was loose. And I know it was a transformer because I can I took a quick look through there. Let me show you that. If you look a uh, quick look, you can actually see some wires and see see the coil? See that? So uh, that is this is a transformer based circuit so the first thing uh, I haven't yet turned some off switch this is the thing that you adjust your temperature with and I have no hope in this how long this soldering pin is going to last because this is really cheap and even the wires feel so smooth and cheap and even everything is that that's how cheap it is so without further ado let's open this thing up let me first give you a okay that's fine because i need some space to work here some actually some of the screws this is the first time i'm opening this thing and in fact i'm this i'm taking this video right after completing my first unboxing video so uh, <laughs> It's the second part of my first video in fact so that's it all four so there's only four screws holding this thing and all four screws are now out and let's see since it's a transformer based thing okay so it's fine uh oh that's oh did you see that guys there's a wire see when it was like that so i and you don't even notice when if you pull that a little further, you can actually see a wire. If, if I focus on that thing, let me get a torch here. If I light a torch inside, what the heck is that? See that? There is a wire, in fact, actually touching the outer case. Let's open it up really first and see. So you can see if I, if I again show you that again see that that's a that's a wire and it definitely was touching on the casing and let's see if it is primary or secondary holy shit guys this is not good this this would have ended in a really bad way if I ever try to turn this thing on this is shit here this is shit here see the quality of pcb that they use it's just they just broke over the what the heck and the scarier thing is that this as you can see here this is a main cable coming right in it goes one of that goes to switch and the other goes to the primary side and see that this was the red this is the red wire that we use see that that is the wire that is the live wire was actually touching the metal body of this holy shit and just no just to mention to you that this has no earth whatsoever at all so all that is between you and certain earth is this just stupid calling a paint and look at the brand of transformer that they use what the heck oh crap 
and I'm so sure that this is not proper copper transformer if you scrape away the copper coating you can actually see some silver kind of thing which is actually aluminum so that's why these things are dirt cheap this is aluminum core transformer with copper coating on the coal this is dirt sheet right here let's see. and let's see what are the other components so focus let us say 470k hope you can see that let us say 470k potentiometer and let's see what value that that is a BT131 BT131 it's a triac okay so this is actually so oh so in the, in the simple terms this is actually a fan regulator the thing that you use to control your fan speed in series with a 12 volt transformer so what it does is it, it is chopping off the AC signals at different points of the sine wave which in fact uh, reduce the average power delivered to the primary of this transformer which in turn reduces the output voltage even though at no load it may appear at 12 volt when the load is connected the uh, because of sine wave is not pure sine wave it is chopped off at different intervals the average value at the secondary coil will be much less compared to 12 volt and at full power when this thing is turned to high that's full power this triac is actually turned off and the full AC signal is applied directly to the primary of this transformer which in turn gives full 12 volt output at this uh, point right here and let's see how the LED is connected oh look at the way they solder the LEDs see that have you seen that there's a 1k resistor in series with the LED and I'll show you it's a good way to see that see that just the LED terminals are just bent and connected straight at the output of the transformer see let me show you that up close see that see the connection quality and even see that did you see that there are even wires poking right out of the primary side and that is actually touching the body of your whole thing what the fuck is this thing holy shit I am so glad that I haven't turned on this thing for the, for the first time otherwise I will have reached heaven by this time holy shit the only good thing that I can sell that I can say about this thing is that this is fully serviceable as you can see here all it has is a transformer triac and some supporting components and pretty much nothing else so every single thing inside is serviceable except the soldering pen and this is serviceable in a way that you know it is not economical by just buy a, another cheap uh, soldering pen who doesn't who does care about that so but the this thing this is actually a, this actually rectifier circuit this is actually a rectifier with voltage variable uh, rectifier things this thing is actually so every single thing inside is serviceable that is the only good thing that I can say about this stupid variety micro soldering iron so if you're going to buy this please do not turn it on when you get it always make sure that this always remember that there is a possibility like this that's going to give you nasty memory forever so do not turn it on for the first time make sure everything is right all it takes is four screws to unscrew it to determine whether will you leave or will you die so thanks for watching do not buy this shit anymore do not buy this thing thanks for watching see you in another video